Welcome to London, welcome to London Bridge. It's a beautiful day. We're gonna take a walk down to Bermondsey Street. We're gonna see a one bedroom flat that's actually in a converted bank. We've got one bedroom, one bathroom. We've got lounge with open plan kitchen. There's also another room in the house, um, which at the moment is set up as an office. The properties on the market with Global House Estates for 22.50 per calendar month. Um, behind me here, we've got the Shard. We're in a great location. We're gonna take a quick walk down to the property now. Come with me, follow me. Oh yeah, if you like street food and beer, actually, this is a great place to come. And also, by the way, if you're South African or you like South African stuff, then this is a good place. More drinking. More drinking. This has got to be it here. We're here. We finally got here. <laughs> it's, sh it's seriously uh, it's a short walk. Should we go in? Hello there. Hello. Here it is. Let's go inside and have a nosy around. Here he is. Hello there. This is nice. Well, seems like we've got an industrial theme going on here with this Edison light over here. And I like the fact that they've actually painted these walls gray instead of the, you know, the normal white uh, magnolia that so many rentals have. Uh, it kind of gives it a, a warmer feeling. I can see everything in here is uh, fixtures and fittings look nice. We have a solid wood floor on the ground. Um, close that door. Um, the plugs are all nice. So these are brushed aluminium. I'm going to just hang this up on here on our coat hangers. Where should we go first? Should we go into the lounge? Let me slip in there. So this is a nice, um, it's a, it's a big room. They, here we've got high ceilings. The hallway, uh, the ceilings were just felt like a normal height, but these are very high. I think they're about 10 feet high. You've got these massive windows here bringing in lots of light. Just look out the window. We've got the little market down there and all these little shops and different things that um, you're gonna be able to enjoy once you've moved in. We've got a nice um, comfy sofa here. So I'm just gonna give it a quick test. And you know what? You could actually use this thing for a bed. You could actually have a snooze on here, chill very comfortable. Um, I like that um, the landlord or landlady has put a carpet in here, um, warms it up, um, nice furniture in here with your coffee table, some storage over here. You've got a big TV, that's an LG TV with sound bar in there as well. Um, so this is a great little area and you can see that the landlords put all these um, little things in to dress it up. It feels like a person that cares, so that's great. Um, not all London landlords do, but this one does. Let's go over here to the dining area. Um, 
let me sit on this bench because I actually love benches. This table feels like it's um, come from one of the local trendy pubs. Feels solid, uh, it's definitely not from Ikea. If you have more people in this property, you can easily pull this table out. You can put something else and more chairs there and you could get, you could get two, you could get, you could probably get about eight people, I mean, depending on, um, you know, how big they are. But um, yeah, um, again, the fixtures and fittings in here are really nice. They're really new. I don't know if you can get close in on this, Ollie. This uh, radiator, which uh, kind of goes in with the industrial theme. You have, um, it's like a, a matte, it's like this gray matte finish, which is really nice. What else do we have here? So you've got this industrial light fitting, which is really unique. You can see the ducting, which is obviously where the um, electrical wire is um, running. This clock here looks cool. And that thing there, I don't know, it looks like it, uh, it looks cool. It looks like it might have come from the, the clink uh, museum. <laughs> the clink. So kitchen here, um, again, um, this flat flows. I love the subway towels. Uh, we have a Bosch cooker. So you've got your Bosch cooker, and that's also a Bosch induction hob. Your extractor fan here. Um, work surfaces are solid, solid wood. Um, again, it fits with the theme. You've got your Belfast or your, um, I think they call them farm sinks in America. More storage here um, on these two shelves. And then you've got this large Miele fridge. It's nice and clean with your freezer below. Um, some storage underneath. Um, your bin is slipped in there. Um, anything else to say above this? You've got this industrial type light above as well. Let's go and have a look at anything else to say about this room, Ollie. Very spacious, very bright, very warehouse style. It feel, yeah, it's and, nice, nice feel. yeah, and if you look out the window, I don't know if you can see that, but you're looking at those warehouses and we're in a similar type of building and it's, it's got that feel, hasn't it? Yeah, that industrial style. Industrial. Should we go and have a look at, we're going to have a look at, um, we're going to have a look at the bedroom first, so follow me. So again, this bedroom, it feels nice and bright. Um, the ceilings are really high in here as well. Um, you've got a lot of light coming through these windows and the blinds, which I think you've got in the lounge as well, are really cool. They're this, they're that type. Um, I'm loving the feature wall here. It kind of adds some character. Storage space, you've got enough here. You've got this nice big wardrobe here. You've got all these drawers um, under the bed as well. You've got some more storage under the bed. This mattress feels, it's a, I'm not sure if it's memory foam, but it feels really, I'm going to sit on it. It feels really comfortable, which is another thing. Um, in London, um, most properties come furnished. Um, so if you get a furnished place and you've got this really uncomfortable mattress and it's happened to me before, you've rented this place, you're paying all this rent and your first night's sleep, you go, I can't do this. I wake up with a bad back and you know, you call the landlord and try and change the mattress. But this mattress feels like it's good. You've got a full length mirror here uh, going on. And you have this light fixture here, which again is uh, kind of industrial. It really goes with the whole vibe of the flats and it looks really cool. Um, the bed, as I say, is nice. One thing that I like about this bedroom is the bedside tables. They kind of look like little safes, um, giving a nod to um, the history of the building, which of course is a converted bank. Um, all right, let's go and have a look at the next room. Now this room here, this room is actually, um, it stages an office and 
It has, yeah, you can put a, you can put here, you can easily put a desk here. You can do your work here. You've got some shelves. You can book, put books on. Other moment, there's a, um, there's a sofa bed in here. So, you know, if you're um, working away and you want a little break, you can just open this out and have a little sleep. It's quite cozy in here. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's go and check the bathroom out. Okay, the bathroom is nice. This bathroom is nice and bright. Um, you've got um, ceramic towels on the floor. You've also got these, um, I'm not sure what they are, I don't. Anyway, there's, you've got stacked towels on the walls. You've got your bath and shower here with this nice um, uh, piece of glass here. Your toilet is neatly fitted in. And then you've got this cupboard where you can store all your um, perfumes or aftershaves and creams and all that. I know all of this got a lot of creams. And, uh, let's have a look in here. Washing machine and there's your heating system there. Kind of utilities cupboard. You've got your towel, you've got your towel warmer here, and then you have your sink here. Um, and this flat feels kind of homely. I would say that this flat um, really feels like you can move in it into it, bring your stuff into it, and you'll feel at home. It hasn't got any of that kind of. Um, sterile feeling that some rental flats have when you look at them you just think oh this is a bit sterile it kind of looks like a hospital but this definitely doesn't have that it's definitely got a unique um homely feel but let's go into the lounge and anyway have a sit down well thanks for sticking um around up until this point summarize on this flat uh the location is superb you're close to london bridge borough market on this street here, Bermondsey Street, you have all these nice little shops and there's a market down there. There's a real nice vibe here. Um, not only do you have all of that inside the flats, you've got this uh, industrial type warehousey feel. So it feels inside as it looks on the outside. Um, some of the things that I personally like about the flat um, in these two rooms, this room and the bedroom, the ceilings are high and you've got these big windows so you get all this light coming in and that feels for good living. Um, another thing that's important to me as well is this flat is quiet. You can't hear anything um, out there. The flat's on at $22.50 per calendar month with Global House Estates. I'm going to leave some details in the description if you're interested then please check out those details. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Ruben, um, for letting us view this flat. Um, that's all about the flat, um, about Oliver and myself. Ollie, have you got any news, anything new happening in your life? Just enjoying all the, the little things in London. Um, I'm thinking about starting some roller skating again, and I can't wait to get back to my dancing. So there you go roller skating and dancing around uh, London on the weekend. Uh, what better uh, way to spend your um, free time? Um, thank you, new subscribers. We did get some new subscribers. We're up to 19 now. Um, thank you, mum and dad, not for subscribing, but just for being my mum and dad. And please subscribe one day. If you're not my mum and dad, then please subscribe. The chances of you subscribing, if you're not, are actually higher. Um, Please like the video. Uh, thank you, Theo, for um, helping us with this video on Friday. But please subscribe also. You said you would. And if your name happens to be Ogo, please subscribe, dude. And on that note, the only thing that we can do is agree to meet at the same time next week.